Hello and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different. I've just realized there's like a little barbecue spatula in the background. Don't mind that. But yeah, I thought I would do something a little bit different today. I've always been really inspired by um, Billie Eilish's like year in review. So I think since she started her career, she's done this like question and answer thing on the same exact day every single year and just to like see the growth and like how she's like grown as a person in her career things like that and I thought I would do one and continue it every year so this is the first year of that I've written out a few questions I'm not sure if the questions are gonna change a little bit over the years but this is what I'm starting with okay so I've just written down a few questions in my phone first one how old are you I'm 24 how would you describe this year in one word I think I would describe this year as ambivalent yeah ambivalent there has just been there's been so many highs this year but there was a good chunk of the year that was just it was really hard and it was really uncertain and I didn't know what was gonna happen I think ambivalent is a great word to describe this year what was your favorite moment well I have had so many favorite moments I don't know if I can pick just one one of my favorite moments was when we finally got into this house, like this first house that we bought together, we walked in, we stepped into this house for the first time and it was kind of just, it was like an oh my God moment. Like, oh my God, we've made it. Like we have a house together now. Like this is cool. And like the house was completely empty. It had like echoes everywhere and it was filthy. Like the tenants didn't leave it very clean, but it was just, it was our space. To call home so just stepping into this house for the first time was one of my favorite moments another one of my favorite moments was before we did that when we arrived here in this town so we'd spent a little bit of january just crossing the country with all this all of our belongings all of our stuff in the van it was like 40 degrees on any given day we we're in the van no air con we just wanted to get to this town like we were crawling around all of our belongings in the van to try and get to the bed and it was just it was kind of a nightmare. It was kind of a nightmare. So yeah, I think just the moment that we pulled up to this town and we had the sea breeze, like we could see the beach. It was like, oh, we finally made it here. That was also another really great moment this year. And my last favorite moment of the year, I, I can't even believe, I still can't believe this happened. Like I got to go to the Great Wall of China. I I still can't wrap my head around it. The the moment that this is going to sound really weird, but like the moment that I touched it, the moment that I touched the Great Wall of China and I stepped on it. I just I don't know, I just had this like overwhelming feeling that's like oh my god, I've made it. I mean, all of my all of these moments this year have felt like I made it. I don't know. Like I never thought that I would get to the Great Wall. Like it was always on my bucket list, but it was it was just something that like I wasn't actively booking, but I, I was like, oh yeah, I'd wanna go there one day. Like that'd be a really, really cool thing to do. But the moment this year that I stepped onto the Great Wall and I, I touched it, like it's, I don't know, it was just such a cool moment. And I just had this like wave of relief. It's like, oh my God, I've actually checked off a really big thing on my bucket list. Like how cool is that? So yeah, that was definitely another great moment. This year has had quite a few great moments, which I'm so grateful for. I think I would say, each of those moments were equally my favorite. Like they were all the same sort of I made it feeling. Okay, next question. What has been really hard? <sighs> Difficult co-workers. I met some people this year that I just don't understand. I, I don't understand why they are the way that they are and why they do the things they do and I just, I can't fathom it. I can't wrap my head around it. They were just really difficult. I won't get fully into it, but it was just petty, like an environment that I just don't want to be in. Like it was really toxic and I had to either choose to stay in that environment and put up with it. And that would cause me to be like really like stressed at home because I hate being on bad terms with anyone. Like if you know me personally, like I hate it. I hate, hate, hate being on bad terms with anyone. And so 
because that was just like a constant recurring theme that was really I don't know it was really hard to deal with so yeah it was just a really toxic environment not a space I wanted to be in so I just simply removed myself and I just said look no not for me and yeah I'm gonna start again so that was just such a hard thing because I hate letting people down I hate being in bad blood with people I guess um, but yeah so that was a that was a really hard thing that I had to deal with this year did you travel this year and where so yeah as I mentioned before I traveled to China which was the big travel of the year um, so incredible so many great experiences I got to experience the culture I also got to go over and see my parents because they've been living there for a bit and yeah it's just it was so great to travel there and locally in Australia I've also traveled to Perth and Carnarvon and yeah that's about it that's all the travel I've done this year but I'm so grateful for being able to travel because I absolutely love traveling I think I had a bit of a travel hangover after last year but I think I'm slowly getting back into appreciating travel I'm not sure if I can do camping just yet because we did do like a full year of just camping like I think I need my toilets now I can't do camping toilets anymore um, but yeah no traveling I think I'm getting the travel bug again so we're slowly building back up to that what are three things you've really enjoyed doing I have really enjoyed learning to cook this year I if if I think back a year ago like I got scared of putting chicken in a pan yeah <laughs> so that was a little bit embarrassing and I think learning to cook has just really it's opened up this whole new world for me like I want to I now want to make the time to create good meals instead of just picking out a snack from the cupboard you know yeah I think learning to cook has been something I've really enjoyed this year visiting my parents overseas I've really enjoyed that this year because I don't get to see them very often so that was really fun and I've also really enjoyed just having a house of our own like we had a space of our own in the van but like you couldn't stand up and it was really small you couldn't really do anything to it but here like we have this whole space and we've been building things specifically for us like this little bench at the back here Rowan built that and it just feels so custom and like it's only ours and I really love creating this space together so yeah that is also something I've really enjoyed this year what was your favorite video to make this year I don't know what my favorite video is I reckon it's these are the two things that I'm just talking about in this video but I reckon either the video when we first moved into this house where we get all the reactions we're excited like we have a blank slate we're painting the wall things like that um, or the China video where I travel to China so yeah I think I can't choose between those two because the one of us moving into our house is already so nostalgic like I think I've rewatched it like five times already and it just happened at the start of the year okay next question how many subscribers do you have so this video we posted a little bit later but at my current point of filming right now I have 1089 subscribers which I just think is so cool like I I aimed to have 777 subscribers by the end of the year and I thought that was like pushing it and to think that we've hit a thousand wow I just want to say if you're new here thank you so much it just means so much to me that you want to watch my life you know I just I don't know I am just feeling so so incredibly grateful for this little community that we're building here and yeah we hit a thousand subscribers I was expecting like middle of next year would be a thousand but here we are what are you most excited for for next year so I am incredibly excited for February just the entire month of February I have a hair in my eye so the entire month of February is it's full of concerts it's full of like catching up with people that I haven't seen in a while it's like visiting family the whole month of February I think is just gonna be so great so yeah I'm very very excited for February next question what are some goals you'd like to achieve next year I I personally would really like to have one of my designs on a puzzle because I really love doing puzzles and I really love designing I think that would be a really cool goal for next year I'm currently in the process of looking at like puzzle manufacturers in Australia and seeing the whole process and how it works and everything 
and yeah hopefully by the end of the year I will have my own design on a puzzle. Another goal I would like for 2024 is I would like to get to 2,000 subscribers. That just sounds absolutely insane to me so let's do it. We can do it. We can get to 2,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. Another goal that is sort of almost guaranteed to happen but we're still working through it a little bit um, we'd like to get another dog for Cosmo to play with so like a little brother or sister for him just so he has someone to run around and play with because sometimes he's just sitting by himself and the last question are you genuinely happy yeah I would say I'm genuinely happy I'm I'm very happy and content in all the relationships I have at the moment I'm I'm happy with who I am as a person and yeah, I'm happy with the situation, I mean, I'm gonna actually, I'm getting a little bit emotional. I've just realised that I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm really happy. Yeah. Despite all of the uncertainties and the bad things that have happened this year, like all in all, I'm genuinely happy. I think I'm gonna absolutely, hang on, I gotta get these tears out of my eyes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna absolutely love doing these little reflections every single year because I love seeing growth and goals and things like that. So yeah, I will leave all of these questions down in the description if you wanna do a little self-reflection of 2023 and let me know your goals for 2024. I wanna know all of your goals for 2024, what you have planned, what you have in store, what you're excited for. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video very, very soon. I think this next one will be the last video of 2023, which is wild, so crazy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.